And good evening wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station. And we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. This must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. And so, the national anthems. That was impressive. Match that. To what we've been told, this is how it looks. It's 4-3-3. Uh, yes, and the importance of this formation is not to allow the midfield three and the attacking three to become too detached from one another. If that happens, then pressure can quickly be applied via the counter-attack and you can be exposed defensively. So compactness can't be compromised. And you need talkers in this team. You need leaders and people that are willing to organise things very quickly. So off we go then. So Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Miralem Pjanic. He plays in that deep midfield position, Peter, which allows him to take his time to, to pick out a pass to the forward line. He also delivers a, a fantastic set piece, something that his manager had in mind when making the signing, I'm sure. Yes, getting the best out of him will count for so much. And it's Pjanic. Pjanic showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball, but couldn't quite sort it out. Going through. Immobile. Shoots! And that's caused a worry or two. A more than decent attempt, Peter. Insignia and here's Immobile Marco Verratti oh that's over here seems now to be all about width. Well, when you have the personnel to create in wide areas, then they need to see as much of the ball as possible. Oh, that's not going to make it. Oh, needed a better pass there. Pjanic tries lifting it over. Has a hit! He's pulled off a fine save. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. And it's Kolasinic. Pjanic. Checo! Good stop. That wasn't easy. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class weight. 
Chiesa. Simic. It is deadlocked. Chiesa battles to win it back. Oh, that had to be more accurate. Forward it goes. Pjanic. Berati drives it forward. Immobile. Keeper sends it forward. He spotted the run and played him through. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. Begovic gets it upfield. He's played him through. It's in the... He's had a goal! Goal! And always such a great time to score. A brilliant boost before you head in for half-time, and you can guarantee that dressing room will be buzzing now. And looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Bonucci plays it forward. Besic. Referee's had a look, and he's blown his whistle for half-time. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. And what a decent game up to them. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain the momentum now and finish the job. Italy are in at half time with a slender one goal lead. And we're off again. Well, it's been tight, Peter, but I'm expecting things to, to open up now and we get some free-flowing football. It's a fine run and he's happy to keep going. Can he deliver? Oh, that's neat. Into the middle. Real class. Bezic really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. And it's Pesic. Dzeko. It's Dzeko! And somehow it stayed out. Spinazzola, Insigne, Italy just about have their noses in front, it is the slenderest of leads. Italy have it back and they can go again. Kolasinac, looking cross-field, changing the point of attack.
and it's Bicakic. Receives it from behind. Bosnia are definitely going about this the right way. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Just has to be done. You can get that clear. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Marco Verratti. Insigne. And here's Immobile. Chiesa. And the shot! Shoots! Just off target. Lorenzo Insigne certainly could have and should have made more of that. Besic. Italy got their goal at the end of the first half, and the score is 1-0. Insigne has given away a free kick. He gets past his man. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Bosnia are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Immobile gets it out to the wing. Goes for goal! Oh, and that should have been two. He got too ahead of himself there, thinking how he could have made things safe. Bosnia and Herzegovina making consecutive changes here. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's, it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honest shift. And he's straight offside. Italy probably could have killed things off, but they should be OK here. And that has put paid to that. Italy just have to run down the clock. Big chance! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. Going nowhere fast is about the only way I can describe this. They've just got to be busier. He's gone for it! And that is it. The equaliser just wouldn't come. It is over. What a game. End to end, it flew by, and in the end, it all came down to just the odd goal. What are your thoughts on today's invention?